is your bike running on poor performance and losing the power then you are watching the right video hi everyone welcome to my channel please click on the subscribe button once you subscribed then go ahead and click on the bell icon to get latest notifications whenever i upload a new video into my channel let's get started with this video here are the list of tools required to perform this service please note them on 9 and 10 mm open or ring wrench 8 mm t wrench is most recommended and allen key set and tappet holder tool front one is exhaust valve and rear one is inlet valve and this is cap where we find the top dead center there is a arrow mark that shows as a reference for bringing the line mark on magneto to meet this arrow we need to bring the t mark on sprocket camshaft to 90 degrees which indicates that piston is a top dead center now i will rotate the sprocket camshaft till the mark on magneto meets the arrow tip There is the easiest way to check if the piston is a top dead center or not is to view the piston through igniter hole by removing the igniter. Now you can see the T mark is at top side and 90 degrees to that engine. So to bring it to the top end use the allen key and turn it in forward direction never turn it in backwards. Now. I am checking for clearance at the exhaust valve which has more clearance than the reading of inlet valve. 0.076 mm is exhaust valve reading I am checking for. Now 0.102 mm if this goes easily in the gap then we need to reduce the gap of the tappet as this is going easily without any friction so I will reduce the gap now. Use 9 mm open or ring wrench to loosen the lock nut and tighten the tappet just a little bit and holding the tappet tighten the lock nut again and check for the gap with 0.076 mm gauge Now the gap looks perfect 0.102 mm gauge showing friction and 0.076 mm gauge is sliding easily without any friction. Now coming to inlet valve its gap will be less than that of the exhaust valve. For this use 0.05 mm gauge to check the clearance. Zero point zero five mm gauge is sliding easily 
Now take the next gauge which is 0.063 mm and check the gap. Now this is sliding without any friction so we need to decrease the gap by loosening the lock nut and adjusting the tappet and check with 0.05 mm gauge again and tighten the lock nut. Check with 0.063 mm, this time the friction should be felt for this reading. As you can see the friction is felt now, it's perfect.